Hello everyone. Today we'll be seeing the solution to the question I and visits Mary, which came in court forces around 865, happened on 9th of April 2023. The problem statement goes like I and Mary are frogs living on lattice points of Cartesian coordinate plane, with I and living on 0, 0 and Mary living on E, B. I and would like to visit Mary by jumping around the Cartesian coordinate plane. Every second, he jumps from his current position x comma y let's say to another lattice point which is p comma q such that no lattice point other than x comma y and p comma q lies in on the segment between x y and p q as ion wants to meet mary as soon as possible he wants to jump towards point a comma b using at most two jumps unfortunately ion is not good at maths can you help him a lattice point is defined as a point with both x and y coordinate being integers. That is the intersection of a line parallel to the x axis and the intersection of line parallel to the y axis. T is from 1 to 500 and A and B vary from 1 to 10 to the power 9. And we need to output the number of jumps I would take and at after every jump the coordinate of I. Let's see the solution to the given sample test cases. The first sample test case is that Mary is on 3 comma 4 and as we know that ion starts from 0 comma 0. Since I'll, there is a line connecting 0 comma 0 to 3 comma 4 such that it does not satisfy any other points having x and y as integers ion can jump from 0, 0 to 3, 4 directly but we need a general approach to solve every problem right so how can we jump the most amount of distance without uh, reaching any other lattice point from one point to another lattice point if we jump from one row to the next row but the distance of columns is maximum or if we jump from one column to another column but the distance of rows is maximum for example in this case if ion would have jumped from 0 comma 0 to 2 comma 1 and then from 2 comma 1 to 3 comma 4 it would also satisfy every conditions and in just two jumps ion would meet mary right and as far as i see it can work with every case. Let's see the second test case in which Mary is on 3 comma 2. Now 3 comma 2 is here, right? So Ian can first jump from 0 comma 0 to 3 comma 1 such that they are consecutive rows, right? 1, y is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0. They are consecutive. There is there can't be any other lattice point between y is equal to 0 to y is equal to 1. That's why we have chosen as 3, 3 comma 1 as the first lattice point where ion lands and then we jump from 3 comma 1 to 3 comma 2 as x changes from x is equal to 3 to x is equal to 4 x changes from x is equal to 3 to x is equal to 4 there can't be any other lattice point where x is anything else right x can be either 3 or 4 so we ensure that no lattice points is uh, met between an hour jump so let me make this clear with a with an example for example an is at 0 comma 0 here and mary is at 5 comma 4 now if we jump from here to here there is no lattice point right because here y is equal to 0 and y is equal to and here y is equal to 1 if there existed any lattice point between 0 and 1 then it should have been 1 because the next integer after 0 is 1 uh, are you following up till now we needed only three conditions to reach value that is the maximum number of jumps must be 2 which is satisfied in every case there shouldn't be any lattice point between any jump which is also satisfied as 
between two columns there cannot be another two consecutive columns there cannot be another column right and same goes for the rows and there is no third condition sorry since our approach satisfies all the given constraints we can move forward with the approach now i will let you see the code where it is the c++ implementations of uh, implementation of our idea solving the problem first we take p and q as input that is the coordinates where mary is and first we ensure that every time en jumps two times first he covers the all the columns and then he covers all the rows so first he jumps from 0 comma 0 to p minus 1 comma 1 and then he jumps from p minus 1 comma 1 to p comma q this satisfies and gives correct answer for every question i hope i was able to convey my solution to you in a proper manner and you were able to understand my solution thank you